In this lecture, we are going to learn about a concept known as reduction. Okay, you will hear a lot about this concept in your NP complete problems. Okay, so first try to see what is reduction. Let's take a very simple example. We have a software. Okay, so which can find or solve quadratic equations okay so you know that okay quadratic equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero so your inputs are basically your coefficients a b and c for x square x and constant and your output will be the two roots of this equation so this software is already there for me this is a black box okay quadratic solver where you give the input a b and c it will give you the output r1 and r2 so far so good so now we ask you that okay so someone asks that okay can you please find the root for this linear equation 3x plus 5 is equal to 0 now and he says that okay please don't write another code you already have one software which can solve quadratic equation so where's the trick now can we solve the linear equation using the quadratic equation or in another way can we reduce problem of linear equation to problem of quadratic equation and the answer is yes we can do because only thing is we have to transform the input of this what is the input of this so its inputs are 3 which is the coefficient for x and the constant 5 and we have to transform this input to the input for quadratic equation so what will be the transformation or mapping or reduction so it is a is equal to 0 because this does not have a x square coefficient I can write this linear equation as 0 into x square plus 3 x plus 5 is equal to 0 a is equal to 0 now your b will be equal to 3 and c will be equal to 5 now you will get the answer for your linear equation so this is kind of transformation where we transform i already have a black box which can solve me the problem of quadratic equation but i have to solve a linear equation so i cannot directly feed the inputs so i have to transform the input of linear equation to the input format of the quadratic equation then we can get the solution for quadratic equation and from there i will transform that output into output of my linear equation but the thing is this is there okay now this transformation step okay transformation step should be easy it should not be very hard such that the sol the solving problem itself is much easier than transformation okay isn't it if I'm transforming something it is becoming it is taking me let's say 100 rupees and solving the problem is taking me 2 rupees then it's of no use this transformation is very costly our transformation should be easier than solving the problem so this is what I showed here so a is 0 b is 3 c is 5 you can get the answer another let's take another example of mapping of problems so you have learned world atlas let's say a b c d are four countries and you are publishing this atlas but you ask the printer that okay color these countries okay and all the countries should have different colors otherwise all the neighboring countries should have different colors so that they look different but please use minimum number of colors for me okay so you cannot use a red color here and red color here so but you should use minimum number of color i can always color this with four different color all the countries will look different but i'm having extra money let's say 100 rupees is used for each color if you take new color so i will always want that okay take minimum number of colors so let's color b red okay so i color this b as red then I try with yellow so I can color a yellow and C also I can color yellow because C also is neighboring with B it has different color it has no other neighbors 
A is colored, but B, D I cannot color with yellow or red because A and B both are its neighbors. So I try out another light blue. So now this is fine. But this problem, I can map it into a graph theory problem of graph coloring if you have known. So graph coloring is a problem, okay, where you have a graph G, V, comma, it's a set of vertices and edges and you basically color the nodes, okay, so let's say this is a graph for us and we want to color it, okay. So let's try to color it using minimum number of colors so that no two neighbors, neighbors are basically connected by just have same color. So I color this red, I cannot color these three red, okay, but I can color this as red because these two are not neighbors. So I mark them A, B, C, D and E. So this graph coloring problem A and C are, okay, so they are of not neighbors, they can be assigned red color white color i can assign to b and d e also because they are not neighbors and in fact i can assign it to d is it no i cannot assign i cannot assign red also so i will assign something yellow so i assign a yellow to this one so three colors are sufficient to color this graph no neighbors are having the same colors okay so this is there so you can transform this atlas problem into this graph coloring problem let's say that i have a graph coloring solver problem a black box where you give it a graph with vertices and edges it can color your graph using minimum number of colors okay so now what i do i have to transform i can transform or reduce this atlas problem to this graph coloring problem and how so let's try out so i have space here I have A, B, C, D, four nodes are there. So I make vertices for them, A, B, C, and D, okay? Now A is neighbor with B, so I make an edge. A is a neighbor with D, I make an edge. A is not a neighbor with C. B is neighbor with D and A, so A and D. And C is neighbor with B, and D is just neighbor with A and B. So this is your graph. So now you can color it, okay? So again, if I try to color it, if I color A like this, I can color C also like this, okay? And then B and D. So if I color D like this, I cannot color B like this. So B I have to color red, okay? So this is the same problem here. It is a reduction. And then I can say that, okay, A was my country this, so I can color this yellow and so on. So this is also a kind of mapping where I, the input of this problem of Atlas is first transformed into the input for this graph coloring problem, which are vertices and edges of the graph. Then you get back the colors that, okay, the vertices A, Okay, is assigned color yellow, B is assigned red, C is assigned yellow, D is assigned blue. So now you can map back, okay, A was country A here and so on. And this, but only thing is you should remember is this step should be easy. Okay, and this is the concept of reduction or mapping of problems. So the basic idea is we have an input. I have a black box that can solve a problem B for me. Okay, I know that problem. Okay, there is a solution. Means a black box is there which can solve it. So I give it input IB, it gives us output OB. Now I have a problem A, I want to solve it using the already available software for B. So the input of A, it needs to be transformed into input of B and this needs to be done in polynomial time algorithm. Then when you get the output for B, you need to transform that output so that it becomes an output for A in polynomial time. Okay, so this is there the concept of then I say that the problem A can be reduced to problem B. So this is reduction. Okay, so I hope you understand this. Thanks a lot. And we will use it in proving NP complete problems.